Hello, Leo tribe. Welcome. It's great connecting with you as always. My name is Christiana. I'm going to be doing your reading today. We're going to be um, exploring the energies of Sagittarius New Moon. And I wanted to take just a moment to thank everyone for every like, subscribe, comment, share, good vibes, whatever it is that you've <laughs> sent my way. Um, and I send them right back to you. I appreciate it so much. I do want to say I am going to be open for readings. So if you're interested in personal guidance, information is in the description box and I will be putting it in the comments as well. All right. So, New Moon and Sagittarius. It is going to be exciting, right? It's a new moon, new intentions, new cycles. Um, we do have Mars opposing Uranus the same day. So yeah, there are going to be some shakeups, some, perhaps some conflict, but what I'm doing today is getting some guidance from spirit on an aspect of our personality we can tap into and explore, right? Because Sagittarius is all about exploration and, um, yeah. It's been interesting thus far. I'm using a new deck. It's fun. You have to be patient with me as I learn it. Um, it's an oracle deck, but it's very um, versatile. So um, I'm, I'm looking forward to all the ways I can use this. Um, I do want to also point out that we have Mercury finally going direct on the 20th. So... Um, going to be making its third round of aspects to several planets and that third time is a charm we are finally going to break through any blockages we've had and making changes and getting projects off the ground or we're going to realize that they're not worth our time and we're going to find the right direction to go in all right so let's see what spirit has for Leo. I'm going to do one more shuffle. This is for Leo, for our Leos, guarding the new moon in Sagittarius. So we've been getting a card to uh, represent the aspect of our personality that we can tap into. What aspect of Leo's personality should they be tapping into during this new moon? Sagittarius. Oh, okay. And I'm not sure why I kept on going. Interesting. So we got praying manis, knife, and Flannery O'Connor in reverse humanity. And she's got a cut in her hand. Not sure what that is. It looks like a an egg that's been split open. And it's bleeding. Blood is coming from it. Interesting. So let's let's read the Flannery O'Connor thing. She uh, got diagnosed with lupus and had to spend time. She had to move home with her mother. Hmm. Okay, I'm not feeling like I need to. She was, you know, she wrote about, she was devoutly Catholic. Hmm. Yes, 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 yes. It's coming into focus now. With the praying mantis, Flannery O'Connor in reverse, and the knife. Feel like you're cutting ties with those, um, you know, the religion, the the uh, 
I, I, what am I looking for? <laughs> More, shh, Mercury retrograde. It's like it's um, it's got to be close to standing still at this point, right? It's like just won't let me talk at all. I just can't get to. It's not even stumbling over words. It's just it's not giving me the words. <laughs> Um, our fam from family beliefs, the things that, that have been passed to us and down to us through our family. Um, you know, we got raised to believe certain things and I feel like, um, spirit is encouraging you to explore your own way of, of praying, of looking at things. Um, perhaps some of y'all might actually be Catholic and Spirit is saying you don't have to go to a priest to confess your sins. You, you can do it. And perhaps you've been exploring it. Perhaps this, you never have. So, yes, Spirit is asking you to um, explore different ways uh, of connecting with the universe, with God, what, whatever it is, Allah, whatever um, Spirit, um, spirituality you practice. It's asking you. Not necessarily to um, God, Mercury retrograde is killing me. Um, not necessarily to sh shun it or dismiss it entirely, but just to explore it in a different way, new ways of connecting with spirit or whatever you call it. Okay, let's get. couple of these cards. This is for Leo, for my Leos, regarding That's an awful lot. They're telling me to take them. All right. Family is on the bottom here. Makes sense. Interesting. Creativity. Love. Yes. Psychic development and nurturing. So, yeah. You may have even blocked off your psychic abilities because you were worried. It didn't seem... Um, I don't know. Help me, Spirit, because the, the words are not coming to me today. Kosher. Yeah. <laughs> they, they seemed sacrilegious. Um... And so you kind of blocked them off. They're wanting you to nurture these. And this is a way of loving yourself. This is also groundedness. So you do want to ground. This can just be going out in nature. It can be meditating. Um, but you, you want to make sure that you're you know, growing those roots into the ground. Look up grounding if you haven't explored it before. Um, that will help you. This is also about taking care of yourself and loving yourself. And we have that here as well. And I feel like, you know, this creativity with the love is just, once again, talking about, you know, exploring. Be creative, explore. 
um, loving yourself, connecting to spirit, just, um, yeah, I feel like this group of Leos that I'm tapping into have been really kind of suppressed and, um, you need to let loose a little bit. You need to explore, like, I'm just going to you know, self-love, as even, you know, in a sexual manner. Um, <laughs> I'm seeing it here, guys. This is, um, just really cut loose from a, a lot of those things that have bound you, you know, because here's self-love too, and um, then the psychic development, um, you know, if you don't know what the third eye is, then... Look that up as well. But you've got to cut yourself free from some of these ideas that have been handed down to you through religion, through your family, um, because you need to be liberated. I've got an idea of what might come out of here for you. <laughs> but you need to liberate yourself, Leo. All right, gonna get some more from Spirit here. Two more times. This is for Leo regarding the new moon in Sagittarius. Lots of exploration. New moon in Sagittarius. Two nines here, by the way, and a ten. And those who are, ten is definitely completion, and nines are like, you're almost there. All right. What messages do you have, Leo, regarding the new moon in Sagittarius? What messages do you have for Leo regarding the new moon in Sagittarius? Six of Wands here. Mm -hmm. Make sure nothing else popped out here that I didn't see. Not popped out, but flipped over. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Just a moment. Feeling these energies out. Feel like you're having a hard time. You're resisting. Not even that you're, you, this is just where you've been. You've had one way of viewing the world. And you've never even like thought about Looking at it another way, it seems like. Like you're totally blocked off from it. Psh. I don't know how I pulled you into my orbit. <laughs> so, with this moon, you know, this is like a second chance to explore your feminine side. It's still bothering you though. And see though, this is like very stable. We've got the 10 of Pentacles with the two of Pentacles. You're still like, you know, looking at it like it's, a, it's this bad thing. It's 
temptation, uh, the devil. That's quite literally the devil. You're afraid of being judged. You know, these people are whispering to each other. And that has you all kinds of bound up. All right. So, how does Leo break free? How does Leo break free? Uh -uh. The Hermit doing some introspection. And then the King of Wands here. Hmm. King of Wands. It's very spiritual. Fiery, passionate. I have a feeling this is a person to you. Love, creativity over here. And they're going to cause you to kind of look within again. Look for that, you know, the truth within ourselves because that's where we find the truth. It's not in any religion. I mean, they all have nuggets of truth in them, each religion. None of, none of them are wrong, but none of them are completely right either. So we've, you know, I personally take from each one what resonates and I leave the rest behind. But it's within, looking within, that you really see the truth. The psychic development. I feel like this King of Wands is coming into your life to help teach you. He's a teacher. All right, tell us more. Tell us more about this King of Wands. Whoa, that's too much. <laughs> Reevaluating the truth. That's what he does to you. But see, it's crossed. It crosses you. But it's got you unwinding this wheel of fortune here. Winding all of the tangles that have been put there over the years from what your family, your religion, the society has, has instilled in you. And now you've, you're, you're starting the process of unwinding it so that the wheel can start moving again. really beautiful. All right, let's see. We'll do one more pass. Anything else? Any other guidance? Any other guidance? Okay, I want to make sure nothing flipped in here. No. Yes, you're going to continue to have some mental conflict about this. But I feel like this love 
this openness is really going to help break through some of these barriers that you have. And this Three of Wands says you're on the right path. And it's a passionate, spiritual one. Beautiful. And look over everything. There's some threes here, which are about um, expansion, spirituality. Mm. There was another 10 here. There are twos on either end, so decision. Oh, another one here. Also partnerships. Uh, the judgment there. And judgment is right in the middle. And this is a double entendre right here. This is spirit calling you. It's a call to you. And it's also you being afraid of that judgment. But I feel you are going to explore this new way of connecting with spirit and not being so tied down by what you know, religions and these, you know, they have their place. I'm not knocking. I, I have respect for all religion, but I do feel like they tie us down. And if you're here, you're ready to hear this message. They tie us down. And... You know, they were useful at one point in time, but I feel like we're getting, we're coming to a time where, you know, it's time to, to readdress, reevaluate our truths. All right, let's get a final message from Spirit here. This is for Leo. Final message for Leo regarding the new moon and Sagittarius. These have been amazing readings, you guys. It's really, it is shaking things up and people are, you know, stepping out of their comfort zone and I love seeing that. I love it. All right. Final message for Leo. Final message for Leo. Okay, there it is. Hmm. Move beyond ancestral patterns. What? A medicine guardian be open to healing information. So be open. This is confirming everything I've said here. These are the ways of thinking and being and um, even karma that have been handed down to us through the generations. And it's time for us to move past them. They are, those are the devil. That's the devil. <laughs> The devil disguises it, you know. He doesn't want us to to move into these new ways of, of being. Brighter, more accepting ways of being. This has to do with the heart chakra here. So just keep your mind open. You know, receive this message. You don't have to accept every part of it, but think on it. 
and think about what others, you know, listen, try to find a different perspective. Try to look at things just a little bit differently. That's all that um, Spirit is asking you to do. All right. Leo, I hope this was helpful. I hope this resonated. Please let me know. And um, I will be connecting with you again really soon for the December readings. Talk to you soon. Bye.